How far does a catcher have to throw a ball to throw out a runner trying to steal second base? How far do you go? If you go north, a thousand miles, and east, two thousand miles. The answers to these and thousands of other real world questions come down to one theorem, the Pythagorean theorem, which tells us the relationship between the lengths of the sides of a right triangle and the length of a hypotenuse. To figure out the relationship, we notice that right triangles have a right angle. And if a figure had all right angles, it would be a square. So one idea is let's make a square out of repeated copies of this triangle. So there's our square, and it's easy to know what the area of the square is. It's c squared. And it's easy to see also that most of the square can be accounted for by these triangles of this size. And all we're left with is the square on the inside. And if we just knew the size of that square, we'd know the answer to the relationship between C, the hypotenuse, and A and B, because we know the area that's contributed just by A and B, and all we need to do is add in that little piece there. So if we rearrange these triangles into two rectangles, we see it more clearly. The trick is to notice that after we've rearranged them, we can make another square on this side and a square on this side. And each of those squares is made up of sides that are the same as the side of the original right triangle. So this one has an area of a squared, and this one has an area of b squared. And since everything is accounted for, and this was originally all put together to be c squared, because we made it that way, then we see that a squared, the square here, and b squared, the square here, equals c squared, the squared here just by rearranging. And that is the Pythagorean theorem.